is a time of enormous energy. If only there was little more clarity and balance when we were young, tch, how many things? How many things would have happened and how many things would not have happened? <laughs> because I continuously keep hearing, Sadhguru, if I had only met you when I was twenty-five, so we thought, let's engage with the youth and see how close to truth can we bring them. So, this is going to be gossipy. <laughs> see, right, right from ancient times, whenever somebody wanted to know the truth about something, they always relied on gossip. Something comes out in the newspaper, you don't go by that, you go and ask around. Somebody says something, that becomes the truth. So gossip has always been a conveyor of truth, not the gospel. Because <laughs> it's dead serious. So gossip has been reliable. Though it gets exaggerated, it gets multiplied, everything, people learn how to listen to gossip, filter gossip and get the truth out of it. <laughs> Don't you? But now with social media, gossip has gone global. <laughs> it's no more local gossip. So I thought, let's raise it to the next level. When you gossip with a mystic, your gossip goes cosmic. This is not going to be an absolute, this is it, that is it. Because people have this funny idea, truth means absolute. We want to dispel this, truth is not an absolute. Truth is in many ways. The question is, what will be your source of truth? In what way will you experience this? Will you experience this watching a sunset? Will you experience watching a full moon? Will you experience with love? Will you experience with compassion, service? Or will this life will become the basis of your truth? If you rely on the sun, sunset or moonrise, one will happen only once a day. Another will happen only once a month. Only the life that you are is the basis of your truth. Now, it can be with you every moment of your life. So in this context, we will unfold this youth and truth. <laughs>